Hi guys, this is a quick demo of the recipe app template for iOS. So let's open it up. Right when you open it up, you will see a list of all the recent recipes that you uploaded on your admin page. So if I scroll down, it will keep scrolling. This is an infinite scroll kind of kind of list. So it will keep loading the recipes from your server. And uh, I can also from here search for a particular recipe. So for example, if I type in pizza, I will see the pizza recipes and I can press cancel again to go back and to open a recipe, I can just click on it and it will show me the, the recipe screen. So you have your recipe title, you have some details like the preparation time and cook time. And if I scroll down, I have the ingredients, I have my directions and uh, something to note is that the directions are HTML formatted. So if, for example, I want to include a link or maybe an image or even videos, and you can also add like text in bold in color and or highlight your text. And uh, something interesting about this template is that you can change the ingredients according to the servings. So for example, here I have 300 milliliter water when I change the servings, it will automatically update it, update it for the new servings. So let's press done again and let's add an ingredient to our shopping list. So let's add them all, in fact. And let's go back and if I go to the shopping list, I will see that they are all here. So if the user is at a at the supermarket, he can tick then the, the items that he bought. So for example, I can tick that and I can also remove it. And if I want to clear all the list, I can just press clear from here. And also I can add an item directed to the shopping list. For example, if I forgot to add, for example, salt, I can add it right there and press OK. And it will be added to the list. So apart from the shopping list, we have the, the categories. So you can browse recipes by categories. These categories are are added from the from the admin page, so you can add them dynamically from the admin page without having to re-upload the app to the App Store. So let's open a category, for example, burgers, and we have all our burgers in here. And if you open a burger, once again, you will see its its recipe in here. So let's go back. Let's go back, and. We have the favorites. So if there are no favorites, the app will show this nice like placeholder screen. And uh, if I go to back to the recents and I open a recipe and I can press this this favorite icon here to add it to my favorites. So let's press it and let's also add another one. Go back and go to the favorites. And I can see that I have my two favorite recipes in here, which I can also open to look at. From the favorites, you can open the settings screen and in here you can change the privacy settings. For example, you can enable and disable personalized ads. Something to note is that this app is GDPR compliant. So right when the user opens the app for the first time, he will see a GDPR consent to enable or disable personalized ads. And he can also enable them from the settings. In the settings, you also have the, the legal stuff like the privacy policy and the terms. So if I open the privacy policy, for example, this is hosted on your server and this is visible both on your website, like online and in here. So you can link it also from the App Store. You have your terms and you also have this screen here. This is a custom info screen. So you can put in it whatever you like. So if there's there's some kind of information that you can't place anywhere in the app, you can place it in here. And this is also HTML formatted, so we can put in videos, images, and, and lists or whatever you like. So yeah, you can use that. Let's go back. And also like if I open my recipe and, and share it, let's put it in notes, save it. And let's close the app and go to notes. When I, so let's say you send this link to one of your friends and he opens it and he doesn't have the app. 
if it doesn't have the app, this nice sort of minimalistic web page will pop up and he can use he can use the recipe like even if he doesn't have the app. So let's say he's using it on a desktop so he can see his recipe without having the app. And he has all, all, all this stuff here, the video and everything. And he can also get the app either on Google Play or on the App Store if he wants. Just add the, add the link there to your App Store. And let's go back and open the recipe app again. Um, like like sharing the, the recipes, you can also share the shopping list. So if I press the shopping list here, I can share it and press on the notes once again. For example, at the moment I just have salt. So it will just share the salt. But I can add other ingredients like this to my shopping list. Go back shopping list and I can share it notes and it will show you the shopping list so for example if you're sending it to someone else to to buy stuff for you you can do this okay that's all for this demo if you like the template feel free to buy it and if you have any questions about it feel free to ask in the comment section of code canyon thank you very much